Hi there, this is Zella, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Terada mount with the easy macro I made. So the gear I'm using is this one. Uh, I'm using the, the newest added the relic, uh, which is pretty good. I was previously using the Phantom Elite one, but this one is better in my opinion, since it gives more quality. And I'm using this gear, 620 HQ. Uh, these melts are from youtuber named Ash10 I'm using his melts uh, but you can go for uh, cheaper melts so this macro requires 700 uh, CP the way you can get 700 CP is you get some of these melts uh, the CP melts and also you can get the, I'm using the uh, Jinga Bardiani um, food, which gives me at 86 CP and 90 control for this one. So here's my final stats with food. It's 3,906 uh, and 4,093. This is on a uh, specialist. So it gives me 20 control, more control, which wouldn't matter. Uh, 20 more craftsmanship and uh, 15 CP. So I did the math. Uh, you actually don't need that 15 CP with the food and the, the melts I have. You should have enough to finish the craft. So here I will do one craft. This macro is for this one, uh, great for artisanal sky builders uh, ma material uh, you need to turn in uh, to get the 500k on each crafter and then get the teardown mount. Uh, once you get all the materials, uh, you just do and have the food, you just click synthesis and here's, uh, here's the map. You, you use the first part. And actually, you can just do, you can do it like this. You can just copy this. Uh, macro one complete. Macro two complete. Craft complete. So it's just doing the first one. Now we want to do the second one. Ever since they added the new 620 gear, this recipe became very easy to brute force. Uh, so with this uh, sound bite, you, you'll know when it's done, and you'll finish it up with third one. So it's gonna do observe, uh, focus touch, food on touch, great strides, innovation, and fire guts, and this should max it out. And we will finish it uh, finish it up with basic synthesis. There we go. So you want to use this macro, uh, and then you you can craft it on any item. Okay. So so yeah, that's basically the the macro you can use uh, to, and then you can turn turn it in. So here, let's go to over there and turn it in okay here we go so you get 175 points for uh, so you can see the points here uh, it says 820 uh, but I, I uh, calculated it and the most you can get uh, is 1000 around 1100 uh, you can kind of do calculations yourself and see how many points you get 
but uh, if you see like the cumulative score right now I have zero points right if I turn it in so here let me turn it in the the highest amount yeah 1194 for the highest amount so here let me turn in uh, another one uh, let's go for like a uh, lower um, where is it so there's another one uh, it can also craft 1516 collectability but that's fine because the highest one is 1400 so even if it goes low as this uh, this is this was because the the condition was pretty bad when crafting it uh, it's RNG you can't do anything about it but it's fine because the maximum you can get is 1400 so even if I turn this in it's gonna give me the highest amount of score and then when you when you do this um, you can even I usually turn this in with the controller because with the controller it's much faster and you, you cannot misclick it you know but if you use the mouse you can do it with the mouse too so once you get this to 10 out of 10 make sure to always uh, give the vouchers to this lady over here and you can get like a, a lot of rewards So you can get this minion if you can get the, the crown one. Uh, this is pretty lucrative, I would say, if you can get like a really good reward. Sometimes like the crown would be a casual attire. The casual attire can sell anywhere between 200k to 300k, depending on your server, which is pretty good amount of deal. So when you do this, uh, make sure to always to um, to use this. Uh, to to make some gill meanwhile so here I get some manor uh, varnish uh, this used to sell a lot N nowadays not so much uh, but yeah so there's uh, another minion I actually don't have this one so let me see oh I actually got it nice okay that's that's cool but yeah, you can you can get a lot of minions. You can get a lot of uh, uh, glamours and stuff. And you also get these uh, scripts. So what you do uh, with the scripts when you're capped, you can actually go here and make a lot of gil with the scripts. Uh, you talk with this lady, and then uh, you can exchange it for these uh, mounts. You can get like uh, Pegasus. You can get this uh ufti um all this stuff you can get this um like emotes and stuff like that and you can also sell most of this stuff you can get this uh, uh paracels um so that's just one of them you can just check another one uh these are the craftsman stuff Uh, there's more stuff here you can just lo look through look through the NPC see what she sells and um, if you want to unlock some stuff uh, you can or some sell some dice there are some dice here I usually get this gun metal one and pearl white this still sell pretty high too if you want to sell them or use them or you if you if you gonna use the if you want to get the sky builders uh, like tools uh, you can actually uh, buy it with this uh, with these scripts uh, for the materials but yeah and then you can uh, sell all the s stuff here whatever you don't need so yeah and then make it make a space and then go go um, I usually like to AFK here, but like sometimes I, I DC because of the these snow particles and stuff. So I just go to my home and do it. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to make a quick guide on this. Um, seeing how like there there aren't many uh, guides like this. Uh, just go over the macro quickly and then show the gear and stuff. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.